Good morning, everyone. My name is Greg Pixley. I'm the spokesperson for the Denver Fire Department. We're here today to talk about fireworks and the upcoming Independence Holiday Weekend. Now, the Denver Fire Department often gets phone calls from people that are asking about fireworks. Fireworks in the city and county of Denver are illegal, as we are going to hear shortly. But oftentimes we get questions as, is it not my right or privilege to shoot off fireworks during Independence Day? And again, the Denver Fire Department reemphasizes that any fireworks in the city and county of Denver is illegal. It's not a right, it's not a privilege. We as a community must work together to ensure that our family, our friends, our neighbors are safe. And the Denver Fire Department can't do it alone. As we see an increase of injuries due to fireworks, as we see fires increase due to fireworks over the Independence holiday, it takes all of us working together to ensure that the community is safe. We ask and we plead for your help to ensure that illegal fireworks are not used in the city and county of Denver. Interestingly enough, we have seen a marked change in weather patterns here in the state of Colorado. And we know that the use of fireworks can only compound the dangers that we face. Our neighbors to the north of us in Lafayette suffered from the Marshall Fire due to these devastating winds and these arid and drought conditions that we experience. We in the city and county of Denver hope not to experience something similar. So you as a community can work with us by ensuring that illegal fireworks are not used. We have to work together. The Denver Fire Department cannot do it alone. The Denver paramedics cannot do it alone, nor can the Denver police. It takes a community effort to ensure that we are all safe. Help us, help your neighbors, help your friends, and help your family. Always do the right thing and leave fireworks to the professionals. They can do it far better than anybody that has bought hundreds of dollars of illegal fireworks in a local or neighboring state. Last thing I would like to leave you with, anytime there is the possibility of a fire or emergency, please call 911 immediately at the first sign that there might be an issue. Again, the Denver Fire Department thanks you for helping us help this beautiful city. I would like to introduce Ms. Julie Ariano. Uh, Denver Health Paramedics would like to invite you to enjoy this uh, 4th of July holiday season, but to please enjoy it safely and responsibly. The festive summer season brings happiness and many celebrations, but it's important to take safety precautions. Safety when you're grilling, when you're enjoying fireworks, safety when enjoying water activities like boating and swimming, and safety when consuming alcohol, including being diligent about sober driving. To remain safe this holiday, we encourage people to leave the fireworks to the professionals. Fireworks, including sparklers, are dangerous and can cause serious injuries and burns. Over 15,600 injuries were related to fireworks in the U.S. in 2020. This is up significantly from 10,000 injuries reported in 2019. The hands, fingers, face, and eyes are the most common parts of the body that are injured by fireworks. Many fireworks injuries are from carelessly playing with fireworks or lighting them while holding them. Please keep your family and children safe and do not light fireworks at home. It is also important to remember safe and sober driving this 4th of July. After fireworks shows and barbecues conclude, there will be increased amounts of cars on the road and impaired driving puts you and those around you at risk for serious injuries and accidents. Be safe on the road and find a ride if drinking. Stay hydrated and stay cool this summer and have a fun and safe 4th of July holiday. Next up, we have Jennifer from the Denver Animal Protection. Good morning. Every year, thousands of pets go missing during the 4th of July holiday. As much as we love our pets, please keep them safe. The best ways to do that are to keep your pets indoors, with music on, things to drown out the fireworks. Um, if they're stressed out, put them in a quiet room. Um, even if you normally leave your pets outside, the safest thing that you can do for your pets is to actually bring them inside. 
Dogs ears are super sensitive to the noise of fireworks and thousands of dogs get lost every year because of it. Make sure that your pets are microchipped and that that information is up to date. Make sure that your dog has tags on it and all of that information is current. Please do the best you can to keep our animals safe this year. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good morning. Thank, thank you everyone for being here. Uh, on the police side of things, uh, fireworks uh, are illegal, uh, as, as Captain Pixley has said pre previously. And uh, violation of this could result into about $1,000 up to $1,000 in fines and court costs, as well as up to a year uh, in jail. So it is important that you do not light, light these fireworks uh, on top of them being illegal. They are dangerous. Um, people get injured year after year, um, so it's important not to, not to do that. Um, other things to keep, keep in mind, as, as has been said before, is also uh, impaired driving. If you are going to plan to consume alcohol, uh, marijuana, marijuana products, it's important to uh, plan for a safe and sober ride wherever you're going. Uh, and then the best way to report fireworks uh, is by one, uh, you can do it online at denvergov.org forward slash pocketgov. The other way is calling 720-913-2059. That phone number is uh, specifically for reporting fireworks. Uh, but also keep in mind, if you do want to report uh, fireworks, we do need a complainant uh, to issue a citation to the violator. Uh, so it is important to be available for officers if you do make a complaint. And uh, with that, we'll just open up for, for questions. If um, folks that are shooting off fireworks, what, what should they expect if a police officer drives up on them? Right. If, if an officer does uh, catch the violation, the, the person can uh, see a fine up, up to $1,000 and uh, spend uh, up, up to a year in jail as well. Sí, uh, claro. Uh, lo que estamos haciendo hoy es, uh, ya que nos estamos acercando a las celebraciones del 4 de julio, queremos uh, dejarles saber a la gente que los uh, fuegos artificiales son ilegales. Uh, uno, uno que, que, lo, que los tenga, que los venda, uh, puede uh, recibir una multa de casi mil dólares o hasta pasar un, hasta un año en la cárcel. Uh, la manera de reportar esto puede hacerlo por, por uh, línea en uh, denvergov.org-pocketgov. Uh, y uh, también puede hacerlo llamando al 720-913-2059. Uh, cuando están reportando eso es, es importante uh, entender que también necesitan, uh, uh, necesitan al, un, un, una, una persona que firme por ese, ese, esa violación para que le puedan dar una multa. ¿Y más información para las leyes y todo eso? ¿Dónde pueden ir? ¿En ese uh, Pues, ¿como cuál información? Sí, pues es ilegal uh, vender, poseer o, o prender esto, estos fuegos artificiales en, en Denver. Anyone else? No. All right. Thank you.